The phrase strikes fear in the heart of anybody who's ever shot for health insurance. Pre-existing conditions, ones that disqualify you or make your insurance more expensive. The list is mind-boggling. I'll run down some examples in just a minute, but here's one that may take your breath away. Domestic violence. I'm not kidding. Take a look. Seven states plus the District of Columbia, they do not have laws that bar insurance companies from rejecting men or women who are beaten up by their spouses. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, Congress is trying to rewrite health care rules for everybody. All of the various reform plans would bar insurers from denying anyone based on pre-existing conditions. Democratic Senator Patty Murray tried to change this. Three years ago, she proposed a law that would prevent insurance companies from denying coverage to abused spouses. Her measure died in committee, but she isn't giving up. Senator Murray joins me now live from Capitol Hill. And Senator, I know you were at that event where Nancy uh, Pelosi was uh, just moments ago. But I want to ask you, you know, how can this even be considered a pre-existing condition? Domestic abuse, I mean, that's appalling. It is appalling, and I first heard about this many years ago when I was talking to some women who had been victims of domestic violence, asking them what their barriers were to getting out of this situation and leaving an abusive spouse. And one of them told me, I can't leave because I have a sick child, and if I leave, I will be denied health care insurance. Another woman told me that she did not report her domestic violence because her health insurance company would drop her. I didn't believe them. I checked it out, and to my surprise, it is considered a pre-existing condition by some insurance companies, and they do deny health insurance to a woman because of that. I have been working since that day to ban this practice in this country. So how do you identify domestic violence as a pre-existing condition? Because you just, as you just pointed out, many men and women don't even talk about this or admit to it. Well, what I asked the woman who told me that uh, she had been denied, and she said, if you go to the doctor and you have, um, and they talk to you and you obviously have been beaten up by somebody, that's part of your medical records, which your ins insurance company gets, and therefore they can deny you coverage because they have that knowledge. Now, Senator, you, you introduced this amendment uh, in, in 2006, but a number of Republicans actually voted against this, and that's why it died in committee. Richard Burr, Republican of North Carolina, said that it's deplorable to deny coverage to victims of domestic violence. However, he says that it, states should be responsible for regulating insurance markets. How do you feel about that? What I believe is that if you are a citizen of the United States of America, you should have the ability to buy health care insurance. You shouldn't be denied health care coverage because you're a victim of domestic violence or you are a woman who've had a C-section or a pregnancy. I mean, these are pre-existing conditions. Surely in this country, we should provide some protections to all Americans and women in particular. So final question, bottom line, uh, after all this debate about pre-existing conditions, uh, if any reform bill passes, um, if this ban is included in, in health care reform, then does this mean no matter what, that every insurance company, no matter what, uh, cannot deny me for a pre-existing condition? That is correct. That's exactly what we're trying to do is reform the health insurance industry so they can't deny somebody for a pre-existing condition, any pre-existing condition. Senator Patty Murray, Democrat of Washington, appreciate your time today. Thank you. Now, I promised to share some other pre-existing conditions. You heard the senator. She actually mentioned a few. Here's a number that might leave you high and dry and uninsured. Pregnancy, especially if you've had a C-section in the past, being an expectant father, infertility, Acne, President Obama tells a story about that one, and also autism.